Hello YouTube. All right, today we are going to look into how the Yuri wallet works. So the Yuri wallet is one of three wallets that you can use for Cardano. Um, it definitely, when you first get into crypto, um, understanding how to buy crypto, how to store your crypto, hardware wallets, you know, it, it, it's a little bit confusing. And it's definitely a, a technology that is progressing. Like every year it gets easier and easier and easier to buy um, cryptocurrencies. It gets easier to store them. Um, there's a lot of great companies that have made it a lot easier. Uh, if you were buying Bitcoin back in 2010, 2011, uh, it was, uh, you were just storing it on a hard drive. It was kind of I, you know, you, it was super scary. You, you were like, oh, what if my hard drive crashes? Um, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose all this money. Right. So, uh, people, people were, people were, you know, uh, skeptical, you know, it was, I was skeptical. Um, I ended up not, uh, investing back then and, I uh, didn't get back into investing into cryptocurrencies until 27, 2016. And, uh, I wish I'd, I wish I had done it earlier for sure, like us all. So today, Yuri Wallet. Um, so in this tutorial, we are going to uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the Ledger Wallet. The Ledger Wallet is the hardware aspect of your storing your 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 crypto, and you can use the Ledger Wallet for Cardano. You can't use Ledger Live now. I'm going to sh Ledger Live is kind of like a central wallet that you can use for a lot of cryptocurrencies. Cardano has their own that's separate. Um, Polkadot has their own that's separate because uh, they, they have uh, more functionality that's needed that they can't kind of use these generic wallets. So let's have a quick look here. For, for first, uh, you're gonna need to uh, have three, three, uh, three tabs open. Uh, we're gonna need to be on ledger.com or ledgerwallet.com I'm assuming you already own a Ledger wallet. Uh, if you don't, you're going to need one for this tutorial, and I highly advise you to buy one. It's the best, um, best, and by far the easiest hardware wallet to use. And um, yeah, this this one tutorial alone, will, I can show you how to use a Ledger wallet, and you'll be good to go. And uh, and then we're going to download the Yuri wallet. So the Yuri wallet is is the software that's um, going to interact with our hardware wallet. The hardware wallet's like the keys and you know, maybe these are the keys and this is the lock, uh, you know, like a, a door analogy. And then uh, obviously you're going to need to buy some, some Cardano. So I have an exchange open here right now. I'm in Thailand. So uh, we're, we're using the BitCub. All right. So let's download software. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download Ledger Live. And this is a brand new computer that I'm on. So... I haven't done it yet myself. Ledger Live. So we have the Nano X. Um, download our uninstaller. I don't need an uninstaller. I need an installer. We have 111 megs. Takes a few seconds. We still need Ledger Live. Uh, I'll show here. Let's have a quick here. Ledger Wallet. And. So if you look at crypto assets, okay, so see for Bitcoin, you can use the software Ledger Live, Ethereum, Ledger Live. Um, you can also, for Ethereum, you can use my Ether wallet. We, I use that on my iPhone. You come down here, you see like Polkadot, it says not yet supported on Ledger Live and you have to use, this is the wallet you have to use for Polkadot, Polkadot.js. It's similar to similar functionality as to Cardano. So come down to here, here's Cardano. Again, not supported yet on Ledger Live. You have to use the Yuri wallet or Ada Lite. Now, you can send and receive and you can stake, it says, but you can't buy or swap. So it's not supported by their software, but it is supported by their hardware, okay? So you can still use your hardware, your actual Ledger wallet to protect your, your money, but you just have to use uh, another piece of software to access it, okay? If that makes sense. Get started, click, click. Uh, I just wanna log in. 
Is it the first time using it? No, I already have it. No, I don't want to do that either. I want to connect. Uh, already set up, connect it. Yes, we want to connect. Uh, okay, connect. Yes, I've done that. Uh, okay, so let's try it again. So plug in your Nano, uh, pl your Ledger wallet. Okay, and you need to Put in your pin code. So just doing this offline, you can't see me put in my pin code because I'm doing it on the actual ledger device. All right, I've put in my pin code. So it's asking me to allow ledger manager. So I'm gonna, on my, on my device, uh, I'm going to hit yes. Okay. So I'm doing this on the device. Okay. All good. All right. Go to manager and install apps. Okay. So we want to install the Cardano app. Okay. I've already installed the Cardano app. I must have did it before. Sorry. Yeah, I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, usually there would be a button here that says install. Okay, so click install and all it's going to do is going to it's going to put some support software on your device and that's going to be it. You're not going to do anything else. The software is going to be on there and then when we get to the Yuri wallet, it's going to interact with that software. Okay, so go ahead and hit the install button. I've already done it. I guess I installed a bunch beforehand. Yeah, I have. You see here, I've installed a bunch. Okay. Now we have that done. We're going over to the Yuri wallet. You're going to download the Yuri wallet for Chrome or whatever um, operating system. So actually, it's just going to be a Chrome extension. Okay. So it's just going to be an extension. You're going to hit add to. Now, don't worry, it's, it's safe. You know, just because it's, it's part of Chrome, it, it's safe because uh, your Ledger wallet is going to protect it. Okay. I don't want to sync. No, I don't want to sync. Okay. Now you come up to here to your extensions and you click on Yuri wallet. Okay. English. Agree. Um, yeah. Simple is good. Um, Cardano. Yes. Uh, no, no, we don't need that. We don't, that's for invoicing. Um, whatever. Confirm. Okay. Can now right here, connect a hardware wallet. Okay. Yes. I want Cardano. I want a ledger wallet. Um, it's a Shelly era wallet. Okay. Click on that. Hit next. Uh, hit connect. I have a nano X. Okay. Oh, I want a ledger wallet. Um, it's a Shelly era wallet. Okay. Click on that. Hit next. Uh, hit connect. I have a nano X. Okay. So I'm I, my, I'm going to unplug my device and I'm going to plug it back in just so, to trigger this. It probably wants us to put in our pin code again. So I'm just going to quickly unplug it. I'm putting in my pin code now. Okay. Almost done. And bingo. All right. Use your security key. I already did that. I like, okay, um, 2.1, but you have 2.05. Okay. So I need to go back to ledger live. Okay. So log into ledger live. I need to in update. Okay. Hit update all on ledger live. 
Okay, so I quickly fast forwarded uh, so you didn't have to watch the uh, install and updating process. Okay, so we have our hardware wallet software updated. Okay, now we can go back to the software wallet, the Yuri wallet, and click on here. It's good that we had that little error. It shows us now we want to connect our Cardano and our Ledger hardware wallet. It's a Shelly era. We're in the Shelly era now. Actually, technically, we're we've just moved into the Mary. I guess I guess Mary's not an era. Uh, Godano is coming very very soon. But right now, we're you still using Shelly? Okay. Hit next. Hit connect. Connect my X. Okay. Then on your Go ahead and, 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 and move around your um, your Ledger Ledger Live, I mean, your Ledger Nano S or um, Nano X. And when you find Cardano, it says Cardano ADA, hit both your buttons. Okay. And then it's going to start giving you instructions on there. And you want to confirm export public key. Okay. Now it's on my on my little ledger wallet. It's saying waiting for commands. So click your device, Ledger, Nano S. And sometimes Okay. There we go. So I had to do it twice, but whatever. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, here we are. So now you see this is a brand new, brand new Cardano account, brand new Yuri wallet. Okay, we have the different tabs here. So the next thing we need to do is um, we need to receive some Cardano. All right, so here's our address. So click this copy. And now you're going to go over to your exchange. So if you're in the States, you probably use Binance.us or, or Coinbase. If you're somewhere else in the world, that doesn't, you know, whatever exchange that you're using. So I'm on this BitCub website. I'm going to hit withdrawal. I'm going to put in that address. Ends in a GWD. So I generally will, whoops, here it is. Uh, GWD, okay, and they all the Cardano ones start with this ADDR address. Um, okay, so you go back to BitCub. I'm gonna available balance. Why is my available? I don't know. There you go. So that's my available balance, 253. It's gonna charge me one ADA. It's kind of weird, but anyways, I hit withdrawal, and. So I'm going to get 252 ADA and it wants me to use my Google Authenticate. Always set up Google Authenticate for all your accounts, um, all your crypto accounts. If you can, like on your on your iPhone, go ahead and make sure you set up, set up Google Authenticate for everything. Please confirm your withdrawal within 24 hours. All right, I'm just going to quickly pause the video. I went to my email and I clicked on the confirmation. You, your, it could be different for your your exchange. Um, every exchange will have little diff different uh, different uh, processes to get the money off. Um, but that worked for us. Now we just have to wait for it to show up in our account. Cardano's the network is very fast, but perhaps your exchange might take a few minutes for them to actually send it. I, I don't know. So. Um, I'll pro I'm going to pause the video again, and as soon as it shows up, uh, we'll continue. Okay, well, that took about five minutes for my exchange to finally send the ADA, but uh, that's not too bad, I guess. Um, if, you, if I was to send this ADA to another ADA wallet right now, it would be instant. Um, it's just uh, the exchange, I guess maybe they needed to take their time. I don't know. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is everyone should stake their ADA. Um, even if you're going to trade it, um, like say you're just swing trading and you're going to maybe trade it pretty soon, uh, still stake it. Why not? You know, it's free to do. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's your right to stake. You get 5.5%. 
you know, annual return on it. So everyone should stake. And when you stake, you're not losing control of your ADA. You're just giving your voting rights to a pool and you're, you're, you're receiving block rewards. So if that pool um, mines blocks, you get a percentage of the block rewards depending on how much ADA you have. That's, you know, simple as that. Uh, which pool you pick doesn't really matter too much. You just want to pick a, a pool that you know is going to be around for the long haul. Um, every, every pool eventually is going to make 5.5% annual it's it, there's a luck factor. So if 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 one epoch uh, every five days there's an epoch, and so essentially it's kind of like every five days you get block rewards. So if your pool in those five days was really really lucky and it, it mined a lot of blocks, you're gonna get more rewards. But then there'll be some epochs where um, maybe your your pool doesn't mine any blocks and you don't get any rewards. But in the long haul, you're going to get about 5.5% annual interest um, on your ADA. So, And you, the money, the, the rewards you get is in more ADA. So even if you're uh, trading, you should always stake. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost you anything um, and especially if you're going to be a long-term holder you definitely want to um, stake your ADA so all you do is from inside your Yuri wallet you're not sending you never send you're hitting just going over to this delegation list and you're going to search for a pool that you like um, you could just scroll through and randomly pick one if you want or you could pick my pool so type in learn, hit this button, and there we go. Learn Cardano Stake Pool. And then you just click delegate. And you're just going to delegate the whole amount. Hit, boom, delegate. Okay, continue. Um, okay, so since it took us a while, we have to uh, go ahead and put in our uh, pin code again on our, on our Nano. So you might have, you know, this is the part of the security feature. Your, your nano has to be plugged in uh, to your computer. And each time you need to do a transaction, um, it's going to ask you to put in your pin code. So perfect. Perfectly secure. All right. Now we hit delegate. Hit continue. And it says, okay, double... Okay, there's a small transaction fee of 0.17 ADA. Okay. And you just keep double clicking the uh, two buttons on your Nano. You just go through all the instructions and then eventually you get to confirm registration. And just keep clicking the buttons. All right, there you go. Successfully delegated. Starting on March 22nd, um, I'll start getting rewards. Um, if this pool mines blocks, you'll get rewards. Okay, perfect. You have successfully delegated your ADA um, inside from inside your wallet. You just use the delegation list and you pick up pick a pool, find a pool that you want. You hit the delegate button, follow the instructions on your Nano S, and give it a few seconds to uh, register, and boom, there you go. So you'll start up upcoming rewards uh, for this account. I'm going to start receiving upcoming rewards um, on Epoch 254. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, smash the like button if this uh, video gave you uh, value. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.